the solution was to go through the shoulders, the forearms and the arms. I trained every part of my arm, every part of my forearm, and I developed every part of my biceps, every part of my triceps. Dozens of different exercises just to develop the arms, go through every single articulation, every single angle, every single fiber I could find. And I utilized so many different exercises to do it because you have to do it. There's no one exercise that kind of magically trains everything. It was a big shock because I was like, I'm powerful, I can do muscle ups, I can do handstand push ups and suddenly it's all taken away. The reality kind of broke in or I was kind of programmed to believe that the, the highest level is this kind of like aesthetic muscular body, which is able to lift a lot of weights and do very impressive skills. The beginning was really the 2015 when we really started to look every part and every aspect of our human bodies like like for example personally before that we were like kind of like doing the right right things but we also were doing lots of like the bad stuff and also like the the methods were kind of you know they were like mostly good but with lots of you know holes in in them and because of these holes our bodies developed lots of different problems like injuries, not like actual which required like surgery or anything like this, but we got like lots of pains, lots of uh, uh, aches and lots of like, like kind of like, I actually like chronic injuries, like I had many different injuries, like I hurt my rib cage very badly doing like weighted dips. I broke, basically broke both of my elbows and I also had some problems with my shoulder and spine and back and everything. Like nowadays I have absolutely no injuries at all and no pain anywhere in the body. I'm actually feeling amazing. But but due to these injuries, like these injuries were kind of the wake up call for us because we had to find like a way to make progress and also a way to really heal the body and re restore the body like to the how it used to be when there was no pain and no restrictions. So for example, both of my elbows were like in really bad shape. I couldn't do pull-ups, I couldn't even bunch, like I couldn't even do things I wanted to do. And all of this was because the training methods I initially followed over 10 years ago were too restrictive, too simplistic and too repetitive in terms of like certain exercise, like I was just doing too many chin ups and too many pull ups. But, and as a result, I developed like really bad chronic elbow pain. And the solution was to really go through the whole body. But in the in case of elbows, it the solution was to go through the shoulders, the forearms and the arms. Like I, I trained every part of my arm, like I developed every part of my forearm and I developed every part of my biceps and I also work on every part of my triceps. Like I used like maybe like dozens of different exercises just to develop the arms, just to, you know, go through every single articulation, every single angle, every single fiber I could find. And I utilized so many different exercises to do it because you have to do it because there's no one exercise that kind of magically trains everything. But but after that, like that was what really helped with my elbow pain and there's no pain nowadays at all. Yeah, like people would think often like 10 exercises a lot or 20 exercises is a lot or something like 30 exercises. But if we talk about our exercise or what we've been done, like it's, in the hundreds, maybe even the thousands, because it's hard to even count it, like what is an exercise. But but if you choose, like let's say, you know, there's so many different articulations, just as an example, like first you need to become knowledgeable of, of the different joints. Let, as an example, shoulder, because I had an impingement in my shoulder at a certain point, like this, like somebody had pains. I had multiple in the hips, was like, <laughs> it was like a messed up. I couldn't do squ squats without pain. Uh, my back was hurt in lower back, center back, uh, the mi middle back. Uh, I had like a lot of issues in the shoulder area, as I mentioned, and it was impinging when I was doing push-ups or even trying to do pull-up. I could not do anymore. It was a big shock because I was like, I'm powerful. I can do muscle-ups. I can do this. 
uh, handstand push-ups and suddenly it's all taken away because it's just like pinching and I, it's just like hurting. And I'm like wondering what, what happened? It's just like the reality kind of broke in because I was sold this idea or I was kind of programmed to believe and even I think somebody was programmed to believe that the, the highest la- level is this kind of like aesthetic muscular body which is able to lift a lot of weights and do very impressive skills like front levers, back levers and whatnot, muscle ups, all these gymnastic skills. But then the reality hit in and suddenly like you wake up, there's, there's small tightnesses that has been there all the time and now they just start to get worse and worse and you just keep repeating the same stuff. You just keep repeating the same exercises and wonder like what is going on. And regards to my shoulder, like I had it like, I had to like, how do you say, deconstruct the entire area to its pieces. Like you need to separate, first of all, okay, you have the shoulder blade. This is just an example. You have a shoulder blade, you need to recognize all the possible different movements from it, different rotations of the, the retractions, projections and so on. Then you need to separate your deltoid area, which is a completely separate entity in a way through the regards to the movement. And then you have the different rotations of the shoulders. You have the different uh, like spatial positions and then you have different rotations. And all of those scapular positions, deltoid positions, the rotational positions, they can be combined. And you and there's a whole lot of combinations for you to cover, to go through. And so you go through those different angles, those different combinations to figure not all of them necessarily are even what you need because there are certain standard exercises everyone is doing like external rotation or something. But you have to understand that the, the like people talk about corrective exercises. Correct bicep curl done properly can be a corrective exercise. A lateral raise, which every bodybuilder is doing, can be a corrective exercise if you do it properly. It's just the problem is that people don't do it correctly. External rotation is no more therapeutic, therapeutic than a front raise if you do it properly. And so, the like someone explained, for example, the solution, you, you start to really explore it. You cannot take these ready-made uh, routines necessarily because they don't always work. They don't, they're nece- not necessarily even about your body and they can be, they're, they're prescribed for someone else's issues and injuries that they have and their weaknesses. So you need to do a lot of exploration and only by going through all of these things, you start to, like I said, you start to map out these different possibilities. You start to map out which muscle affects which function of the shoulder, which muscle might have the weakness that is causing the pain in your uh, in your shoulder or in your rotator cuff or some impingement. You start to figure out not just the muscles but the but the functionality. For example, the stability. Are you lacking the positional stability in your shoulder? So there are so many things to consider, and maybe perhaps this makes it more. Uh, like clear to us why are there so many things that we've gone through why is it not confined in just like a few different exercises because you really the body is not like that this is what we have I think we've been led to believe that the body works optimally when you're doing your back squats and your deadlifts and your maybe split squat and some hamstring uh, like uh, knee, knee flexion or knee extension like Nordic curl. yeah, Nordic curls like this is not the reality of the body at all you have to understand this is condition this comes with the fitness, fitness culture and it is spread by people who probably mean good and there are benefits to all of this exercise even basic and everything but that is not all there is to the human body and this is what we've been figuring out